easy peeps and welcome back to another episode of started from the bottom the road to glory this was recorded directly after episode 310 so before episode 311 and then we'll try and get you back on track eventually yeah yeah right so we'll complain we'll complain we will complain about this game we will complete the marquee matchups and we will claim uh 12 000 coins and two jumbo premium gold packs and this week's featured squad battle is Rodri goal okay 562,000 we've got on the clock we've already played a draft which i'll show you in a moment which didn't yeah yeah but first let's open jumbo premium gold pack numero uno can we get anything good in this one we can't we get thin boards unfortunately but what we're doing is uh, along the way over the next few episodes as well especially whilst i was doing the viera i was quick selling a lot of the uh, duplicate ones that were um around about their discard value so for instance we had about four traores uh, in the club the ones to watch version so i think i sold a like about two of him along the way so that would have been an extra twenty five thousand coins give or take uh, probably 21 22 something like that that don't necessarily get accounted for in sales because they was quick sold but i will definitely show you all up to date so we are all compass mentors so this is a draft we did play i did get knocked out in the second round uh it took me by surprise where I actually played two games where nobody quit, to be honest. The team we drafted wasn't that good, so I didn't bother showing you who we did actually draft. But I will show you the rewards that we've claimed, round one rewards. We only get a gold pack, a premium gold pack, and a silver players pack. So not the greatest rewards for one draft, but we will do. We will go again. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. This is, of course, while every or whatever the latest special cards are still in packs. So we've got to do it to try and open these packs, man. And we have been selling a shed load of silvers. You can see that my transfer list is on 95 out of 100. So what I've had to do, I've had to set a kind of a ceiling along along the next two or three videos of what, how much I'm going to show you that I've sold because I was rinsing through the players really quickly. Um, we open this pack, we get a festival of football from that silly little pack, English centre mid man united we get 91 lingard now we've already got 91 lingard so we end up selling this lingard but from that pack from getting knocked out in the first round of the draft we are in some insane profit baby yeah so you can as i was saying we are 95 out of 100 on the transfer list so i did a cut off of around about 1500 coins so any player that was selling for around about 1500 coins i was just getting clearing him off once he'd sold because i needed the spaces to be able to keep rinsing more people because i knew eventually long term i would be doing the viera so we needed to get coins in along the way so hopefully that makes sense any big boy sales like the Lingard, etc., you will definitely get showed because that is a beautiful 63,000 coins. Thank you. We'll take that from getting knocked out of the first round of the draft. Anything that we don't need, like a sniper or a kit or a uh, uh what was that? A uh, what's it called? A stadium. That's it. A stadium. <laughs> anything like that, kit stadium, a sniper, or something like that. We'll quick sell along the way. We don't get anything good in that pack. So overall, playing gameplay wise, this was one of the worst drafts I've ever had. The team I drafted was absolutely pants, but we got great rewards. So we're going to go again. You can see we did sell the uh, Lingard, which I'll show you in a moment. And now this is going to be a full draft now. So we're doing full draft complete heavy mode. First up, we do get a choice of Dybala, Costa, Fabregas, Ozil or De Bruyne. So, we end up going with Kevin De Bruyne. And then, we'll, what we'll do is we'll speed this up like we do for drafts. Next up, we do we want a special card, really. So, we end up banging in the 91 version of Dybala. And now, we'll speed it up. We get a little bit of a look there where we get an Argentinian Prem. So, we go with Aguero. We've got Aubameyang. I love the way... I was watching... What game was I watching the other day? Um... It was the BT Sport one. I can't remember who the commentator was. Uh, 
No, it wasn't the BT Sport. I do apologise. It was the FIFA World Cup from a few weeks back. And one of the commentators just couldn't say Obama Young. It was so from it was so hilarious, man. It's I don't know if you've ever seen the clip of Michael Owen trying to say Obama Yang. If you haven't, go on YouTube, type in Michael Owen Obama Yang and listen to Harry says Obama Yang. <laughs> It's, honestly, it's the stuff of dreams, people. It is the absolute stuff of dreams. So you can see we're getting quite a few good special cards in which are helping for chemistry. Um, we're trying to get a high-rated draft, man. My highest-rated draft this year has only been a 190. I just don't seem to get the luck with the cards falling. It may be my fault for who I pick in the first like three or four, but you can only pick what you get given. We end up with Ronaldinho. That's not bad at all. Uh, we've got a choice there of 99 Ronaldo or Hully. <sighs> we go Ericsson. I know that's shocking. We go Ericsson. We turn down Hully. We turn down 99 Ronaldo. This one we wanted to try and get 100 chem. So we end up going for Ericsson to try and get some of that chem in the team. And I know that meant turning down Hully. I know that meant turning down uh, 99 Ronaldo. But we managed to hit the 100 chem. So I'm, I can't be anything but pleased with that. We take out Obama Yang. He will be our super sub so that we can get a little bit of uh, chemistry. So that we can get a strong link to De Bruyne in midfield. Uh, we put all our special high rated cards in. And we end up getting a 190. Not bad at all. So that matches our highest rated draft ever. Pretty decent team. We've got some insane super subs to come on in Ronaldinho, Aubameyang, Dybala. We get lucky with the manager as well. So we get an Argentinian Prem manager. So that adds beautifully. So that's not bad. We end up on a 190. Pretty decent. There's our top three players. We've got Ronaldinho, De Bruyne and Lloris. I don't know why Aguero's not there. Oh, midfielders. Okay, sweet. Aguero's not a midfielder, is he, people? 12 players from the Prem, 4 from Brazil, 5 from Calcio A, 190. We will take that all day long. Pretty happy with this draft, not bad. First up, we've got Fitzgerald FC, 98 rated chem, 90 team. He missed out slightly. Uh, looking at his defence, it looks a little bit slow on the Otamendi side. But he has got Varane and Jordi Alba. His midfield is painfully slow. Uh, and he's only got Benzema up front, so you know that he's going to try and play it through Ronaldinho or Ronaldo. And we go straight on the offensive. Nice cross to Hazard. In the seventh minute of the game, we go 1-0 up. Beautiful. He then gets a nice reply to make it 1-1 through his Ronaldinho on the 22nd minute. And then just after half time, we do a nice little bit of playing around. Aguero to Ericsson. Ericsson to Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho to the back of the net. 2-1, 47 on the clock. We are in the lead in the first round of this draft. Beautiful. Run around, son. Run around. And that was that was enough for him to get himself out of here. There's nothing better in a draft when you see that loading symbol. It means they're playing that lovely glitch to get out of the game so they don't get a loss. And it just makes the whole drafting experience quicker. However, it doesn't. Because the amount of games that I go 1-0 down in... And then they quit out is absolutely unreal. That's why I reckon we lost the draft on the first go. Is because I probably had about six games before where I went 1-0 down. Um, and then ended up getting like quit out of. So then we have to go again. We're 1-0 down, get quit out of. We have to go again, etc, etc, etc. Then when you do finally hit a game where you go 1-0 down. And then they carry on. It kind of catches you by surprise. <laughs> because you've spent the last hour just staring at the screen watching people back out. And then you end up losing the game. However, the memory and the lasting impression and the rule and the lesson to learn from these people is don't concede first on draft. But you can kind of tell when people are going to go for the glitch because they just start running out every single player apart from the goalkeeper. Is that Ericsson's fat older brother? Is that, look at that manager. That looks like Ericsson's for, oh, I don't know. You can tell when they're going to try and get the uh, the glitch because all they do is they run straight at you. From the fourth minute, they're literally, they're getting people from outside. They're getting the trainers. They're getting the manager. You've got 27 players all running at you for them to try and get the first goal. So you kind of know what's going to happen. So then what you do, people, just pray really slow. Slow it down. Pass it around. 
get them frustrated. They'll, they'll, they will keep running at you more and more and more and then just expose the holes that they leave behind them and then hopefully you will get a win. Paulinho, 43 minutes, 3-2 to us. Nice little finish from Paulinho and fair play. He stayed in the match for a little bit. Aguero, 4-2, 55 minutes. And that was enough for him. He had a 55-minute benchmark. Kuya won. And he thought, right, that's it. Nope. I've had enough. I'm out of here. On to the next game. He has Messi, Aguero, Sterling, Team of the Year, Conte, Philip Luis, and then a very slow centre-back pairing. Uh, and then just a standard gold on the right side. But we go 1-0. Then he goes 1-1. Then we go 2-1 on the 12th minute. Thanks to Salah, do, 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 do. Ah, oh, Salah, Salah, do, do, do. Aguero, 3-1. 22 minutes on the clock. And you know, people, that was enough for him to get himself out of here. There's that lovely loading symbol that we love to see so, so much. So, so much. And we win. The most frustrating draft ever. I'd just like to play a full game in draft, man. I really would. 2-1, 2-0, 4-2, 3-1. And our rewards for winning the draft. Mega pack. Rare players pack. And a jumbo premium gold pack. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love it. So can we pack something decent in these packs? You would think with those, because that's pretty decent rewards. I think the only like ones that really are better than that are the ones where you get 45,000 coins. But they come along once in a blue moon. Anyway, let's open up the Jumbo Premium first. Thin boards. Right, so be mindful of marquee matchups. Some cards on marquee matchups are going for an insane price. Uh, 4,000 coins for like standard golds and stuff like that. Because a lot of people haven't got a lot of players in their club. I'll show you a few cards here and there that we did manage to sell. We managed to sell the uh, Insigne for 21. I'll probably rinse through some more of my sellables and stuff like that. A uh, couple of players here and there. I only showed you these, but going forward, I won't show you the ones that are above uh, under 1,500, I think the cutoff is. Uh, 63 we got for the Lingard. Um, uh, 4 3 there for that Silver. Uh, 700 for that one there. Uh, two eight for that silver so you can see we're rinsing through we're rinsing through and then along the way as well we're also purchasing players that were needed for the Vieira because we knew we was going to do the Vieira in our mind so along the way you may not see the coin balance move but it's because we're purchasing the players along the way makes sense tots beautiful can it be somebody big Belgium go is it gonna yes we get Courtois 94 rated Courtois, fantastic, that has completely solidified the profit for this draft, he will be sold quick style, beautiful, absolutely beautiful, Courtois, not bad, rest of the pack isn't amazing, but Courtois, let's have a quick check at how much he's worth, he's got max of 250, oh not bad, 130-esque, yeah, hey we'll take that man, that's made insane profit, for this draft and that will definitely help take down the cost of moving into the Vieira so we end up listing the Courtois for 132,000 coins give somebody a bargain at this time of fee we're all about giving on this channel people we're all about giving from me to you He's not going for much. So we're checking all the silvers. This is what we're doing. We're checking all the silvers so that we can shift some players out to get some players in. Yeah. Rare players pack. It's got to be something good in this one. Surely. Surely. To make this draft an insane amount of profit, we get we get another tots. Beautiful. Beautiful. Who we got? Not too sure what that flag is. Striker. Ma okay. What's his name? Mariano. That's the one. Okay. So that's a 20k card maximum. We will check his price, but I love his Samba. That's it, Mariano. You come out with your Samba dancing, son. You come out. Love the Samba dance. So he's worth what? Yeah. Hey, we get another Tots as well. Lopez. Beautiful. Hey, what a draft, people. We are in some serious coinage profit. So he's going to be around about 20k-ish. Yeah, not bad. So we'll list him. 
uh, Lopez will probably end up keeping for the time being, uh, just in case. Just in case. I, it's, he's Portuguese. Just in case. This is what we was thinking. We know the end of an era Ronaldo is never going to come, people. It might do. It might be here. They might surprise us. Who knows? But we're just going to keep him because he's only a 20k-ish card. So if we need to, we can quick sell. So that is it for today's episode. I've started from the bottom, the road to glory. If you do have any questions about coinage balance or anything, just drop them in the comments below. Hopefully I've kept you all up to date. But when we're trying to move pretty quickly, it's hard to cover every single thing. But if you have stumbled across the channel, why don't you hit that subscribe button? Of course, if you're already subscribed, you know what to do by now, my lovely chickalickies. Turn your notifications on so that you know when a new video goes live. If you could as well, go and give my social medias a follow. I'll do loads of updates on Twitter and stuff like that. At QuickStopHicks for Twitter, Instagram, or even Twitch. Go and give my Twitch a follow. There will be some streams coming shortly. Thank you. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in a bit.